today's job is to clean his PC, but more than that. So tell me about the specs of this PC first. Uh, the CPUs are AMD Ryzen 5 2600. Mm -hmm. Got a pair of 16 gb Kingston uh, HyperX Predator RGB and the GPUs, they are Palit GeForce uh, 1080 and uh, NVMe drive from Kingston, standard hard drive and a very old 12.8 uh, gigs of SATA uh, SSD, yeah. Okay, quite a lot of storage drive. So this PC is actually this guy's our writer. So his PC is really dusty and I can see dust caked inside the tempered glass on the other side, not the outside. So yeah, a lot of dust, we have to clean it and also I realized that you mentioned a few problems like PSU shroud not closing properly. Yes. Then after that, CMOS battery. Yeah, the CMOS battery is actually charged but it for some reason it just doesn't register then my BIOS just keep restarting every time I turn the power off. Okay. So, cable management is another thing I think need to improve. Okay, and then I can see mangled USB ports but that one can't be fixed unless we buy replacement parts. Leave it for next time. So, we did a burning test, a before test here. How long was the last time you serviced or you assembled this in 2019 that you never bothered? Yeah, I assembled is in 2019. After 3 months, I realized the CMOS battery, then I tried to took it apart. Then I put it back, then since then I've never ever took it apart again. So that means most probably thermal paste is dried. Yep. Stock cooler, you're using AMD yep, stock, stock fire. Cooler. Yeah. Stock, I forgot what cooler is this R but... Rave. Rave, okay. Yeah. That one is probably caked with dust or so. So we can see temperatures here after doing IDA burn test for like 15 minutes. We got like 88 degrees Celsius on the... CPU and then the GPU is about 72, 73. Okay, okay, so time to dismantle everything and clean up.
Wow. Wow. So for the past two hours, we took apart everything, clean it out, including the motherboard. So it was too dirty. At first, we just wanted to clean the surface, but ended up being a deep clean. Yeah, there's literally <laughs> like oil and dust oozing everywhere. I found wings of some bugs inside. I don't know what bug is that, but there's wings, transparent wings. Organic mm. matter. Organic yeah, matter, yes, a lot of them. Some of them are, I think, baby cockroaches. Yes, I found that. Thermal paste was super dry. Yep. So we cleaned that as well and also changed the cooler to this thermal right. What is the cooler name again? This is a tower cooler with dual fans, so we also changed the thermal paste of course since it's dry. And then currently running burning test on IDA64 seems to be very good. Burn for five minutes already only 50 degrees. So yep. you can enjoy the silence. And Yalo, very good cleaning progress, I would say. Very fast. Because usually if I clean alone, it will take like one whole day. I won't show you the cable management behind because it's too beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> usually my own cable management is also like this, so yeah. yeah. You can see through tempered glass. I think you cannot see, but I'll show you some B-roll here. Looks very clean on the other side. I just wish that I put some of the cables snug first before closing this side panel, but too late for that. I don't want to unleash the Kraken on the other side. Mm. Mm. That's it, no? Yeah. Yay! Clean PC. Good yes. PC.